I first set this hot tub up back in the middle of April. It is now um, the middle of May. So we've had it about a month inflated. We've used it probably about a dozen times during that period. So I think we're getting quite a lot of usage out of the thing. Um, and because we've waited a little bit of time before I film this part of the video, I can talk with a little bit more authority about what it's like to live with, how to get on with it, how to clean it, etc., etc., etc. So, um, yeah, we've really enjoyed having this uh, hot tub so far, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, let me just talk you through a little bit about the main thing because I've just taken the cover off today uh, and this is how you find the pool. At the moment, I've got one of these floating in it. So this is a dispenser for chlorine tablets. I normally put one tablet in there and then just keep that going. Um, and after you've done the initial setup, when you have to, what's known as shock the water, this is normally enough to keep the chlorine at the right kind of level. So, uh, so yeah, that lives in the hot tub, but when you're going to use it, you just take that out. So, um, the other thing that you become very familiar with are these. Um, I'll show you a close-up in a minute, but uh, these are test strips. And these tell you what the quality of the water is like, the acidity um, or the pH levels, the alkalinity levels, and also what the chlorine levels are in the water. So I use quite a lot of these. Um, the starter kit that came with the hot tub had 25 of them in. Um, I've bought this relatively cheaply on Amazon and it's got 50 in them. I would say I probably get through um, two of these a day when we're using the hot tub, so it's just another thing to bear in mind. It's another little thing that you need to get used to and it's uh, you know a small expense you have to absorb as well. So you dip these in and then you have to wait 15 seconds and you have to compare it against the colour on these charts. And this tells me that my chlorine level is absolutely fine. Um, my pH level is actually a little bit low and my alkalinity level is absolutely fine. So um, the chemical set that came in the starter kit has got what's known as a pH razor, so we should probably put a little bit of that in. But to be honest, it is close enough. I don't mind going in it right now, and I'll put some in a bit later. Uh, you need to get used to using these strips. So um, I have a bit of a routine where every morning I'll turn the hot tub on and uh, yeah, test it and adjust the chemicals then and that way I know um, later on in the day if we want to use it, it should be absolutely fine. There's another little bit of daily maintenance that you have to do, um, which is to uh, check and clean the filter. So the filter is inside the pool, so you have to unscrew this large unit here and then unscrew this little section here, which allows you to take out the filter. So every day you should remove that filter, give it a good wash. As soon as it starts to look dirty and doesn't wash clean easily, uh, then you should replace it. Um, but I just give it a good wash for the hose pipe and it seems to get all the dirt off it. So I've um, given the filter a good uh, wash for the hose pipe and yeah, it's come up. Um, it's come up spotless again, so I'm gonna put that back in again for one more day. I don't have a problem with that. So the filter just goes back inside here, inside there, tighten that up, and then screw it back in. Screw it back in on the front of the filter intake inside the hot tub. It takes a little bit of practice to align, but once you align them, yeah, it goes on pretty easy. It only goes on fairly loosely, just hand tight. So that's it, so that's the daily maintenance. Check the water, um, add chemicals if you need to, just to get the levels about right. Um, check and wash out the filter, and that's it, you're good to go. Before you get into the hot tub, um, it is really important that uh, you have a shower. Um, I know this from experience about cleaning the hot tub and maintaining the water. Um, essentially you build up a scum on it and it goes brown and it, it all is a bit horrible unless you have a shower before you go in. You seem to wash off any uh, deodorant, uh, sun cream, makeup, sweat, whatever, just to make sure that you are absolutely clean. Um, also, 
Um, I always wear flip-flops to come from the bathroom to get in the hot tub because what you don't want to do is walk across your patio or your garden or whatever you've got, pick up little bits of gravel and then step into the hot tub because they'll sink to the bottom and they are not easy to get out. So yeah, I'd highly recommend that you are completely clean, uh, straight out of the shower, well scrubbed and soaked before you hop into the, uh, hop into the hot tub. So let's get in the hot tub. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. So that is, um, I would say, the perfect temperature. Um, it's 38 degrees and it feels beautiful warm, um, not overly hot, just a really, really nice temperature. This is the Hawaii hot tub, which is um, listed as for six people. Um, I would say six people will be very tight in here. Um, I think this is absolute luxury for two people. Uh, it can fit four people, no problem in comfort. Six people would be very cosy. So if you're thinking about buying a hot tub and you see the number that it says that it's for, I'll take that with a slight pinch of salt and buy bigger rather than smaller, just to make sure that you've, um, yeah, you've got enough space for everyone and it's not too cramped. Uh, I mean, there's just me in here right now, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic, just for one. In terms of controls, at the moment, uh, this has just got the pump on and it's heating. It's actually at temperature, um, so it's not actually doing anything at the moment. The, the light on the heater uh, control has gone to green, which says it's at temperature. Um, and it's just got the pump whirring, so because that pump's going, that means it's uh, yeah filtering the water and just maintaining that temperature. Um, this has got two different settings um, for uh, sort of massage and hydrotherapy. Um, one is air bubbles and um, all of the Lazy Spa um, hot tubs come with the um, air bubble function and this because it's the Hydrojet Pro model um, also comes with jets. So there are eight jets built into the hot tub, two in each corner. Um, so I'll just show you what they both do. Firstly let's do the bubbles. So you have to press the unlock button for a couple of seconds just to unlock the controls and then you can hit the bubble button to get bubbles. So those are the bubbles in operation at the moment. It takes a couple of seconds to get going completely um, but the bubbles go all the way around the edge of the, of the spa. Um, the, um, Part of the spa that releases them is sat right at the bottom. The fuel sat here. Uh, the bubbles feel pretty good. They're going right the way up your back, uh, and you know it aerates the whole hot tub. What you may be able to tell, and I'm speaking up quite a lot now, is that the bubble function is quite noisy. Uh, I mean, it's fine if there's a group of you, you can talk and you can hear each other speak, um, but the fan in there sounds pretty much like a vacuum cleaner. So you've got uh, the, the pump making quite a lot of noise over there and then the bubbles themselves make quite a lot of noise. So it's worth bearing in mind that it's noisy but they are really nice. Yeah the bubbles are pretty nice. So I've just turned off the bubbles and um, what we'll do now is we will do the um, hydrogen. So again they just take a couple of seconds to kind of get to full speed and what I'm hoping you can see on the camera is you kind of have these uh, much softer bubbles um, coming out from each corner and um, yeah if you sit yourself in a corner then there is uh, the jets sort of operating on your back um, the nozzles themselves you can change the direction they're adjustable um, and yeah that's again really nice I mean if you sink into this you can put that sort of on your shoulder blades and on the back of your neck or you know if you lift yourself out of the water a little bit more you can put those on your lower back too and uh, they are really really nice
We deliberately went for the Hydrojet Pro model because we wanted to have these jets. Um, we use the jets much more than we use the bubbles. Uh, they're a lot quieter, so you don't feel that you have to shout, um, and they just feel nicer. It's just softer in the pool. Um, you know what I mean? It's just less powerful. Um, and even if you just sat in the middle here, away from the jets, it's, it's just a nice positive experience. Um, if you really want to, what you can do is actually do bubbles and jets at the same time. So, this is the hot tub going full pelt really. We've got bubbles and jets on. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice. <laughs> As I said, those bubbles are just a little bit noisy, so I think it's much more relaxing just to have the, the jets on. Uh, jets on their own rather than jets and bubbles. Yeah, it's really nice. We're quite fortunate here in that we've got solar panels on our roof, so even though we've had it for a month, we've not noticed any effect on our electricity bill. We tend to heat it up during the day, we turn it off at night and then just turn it on first thing in the morning once the sun's up. Um, if we're not going to use it, we sometimes leave it a day or two without turning it on, although I do still check the, um, uh, the chemicals in the pool and check what the water uh, quality is like every day and adjust that. We've emptied the water a couple of times during the time that we've had it. That's fairly easy as well. You just remove the pump from the back end. Um, I fasten on a hose pipe that takes the outlet uh, into a drain um, and that releases um, sort of 95% of the water. Um, to get the last little bit out, there's a plug actually on the bottom of the pool um, that when you release just allows you to get every bit of water out. Um, while I had it empty, um, I generally give it a wipe down and a clean, uh, wash it out with a hose pipe, try and get any little bits of gravel out the bottom of it and just to make sure it's absolutely spotless again. Filling it up takes about 45 minutes with the water pressure we've got here. Um, we haven't got very good water pressure. I think if you've got decent water pressure you can probably fill it in half an hour. Um, it then takes, yeah, to go from scratch with cold water temperature which is about sort of 12, 13 degrees C. Um, it takes uh, one hour really per one degree of temperature that you need to raise it. So if you're taking it from really, really cold, I would say it takes a couple of days um, working it like we do, when we turn it on in the morning, turn it off at night. By the evening or afternoon of the second day, it will absolutely be at temperature. If we uh, turn it off at night, um, it generally drops down to about sort of 20 odd degrees, mid 20s or something like that in the morning when we turn it back on again. So by lunchtime or early afternoon, it's back up to temperature. Um, so we find that's a nice way to operate it. The hot tub has got a timer on it um, that allows you to uh, program it to yeah, stay on and turn off at a certain time. So if you want to leave it on during the daylight hours um, but then turn it off at night, you can do that. If you want it to program to turn on before you get up, you can do that too. So um, I've not felt the need to use that function, but it's there if you need it. We're very, very pleased with our purchase. It's just a fantastic thing to have. It's a great asset for the garden. It means that we come out here a lot more often, spend more time listening to music than we do watching television. Um, we bought it from The Range, who are based in Plymouth, and uh, Lazy Spa themselves are also with Devon. And um, yeah, we're just very, very pleased with, with what we've got and how much use we get out of it. Um, uh, I would also say, get a slightly larger one, nothing too small, get a, get a four to six, don't get a two to four, um, if, if you know, if you want it to be comfortable for the four of you. Um, if you've got the space in your garden for a smaller one, you've probably got space in your garden for a slightly larger one. So to wrap up, um, I would say that the Lazy Spa Hawaii Hydrojet Pro is a great purchase really. It's very easy to set up, um, it's really easy to maintain, it's inexpensive to run day to day and it gives a fantastic asset to your house, to your garden. Just somewhere you can spend time with people and it's relaxing, listen to music. Uh, it's just a great spot to be. So there you go, that is my review 
for the Lazy Spa Hawaii Kite Jet Pro. We're really, really pleased with our purchase. We're so glad we did it. We've got a lot of use out of it and think we're gonna get an awful lot more during the summer months.